Today we're going to glue a patch panel into place using SEM structural impact resistant adhesive. And I'm just going to cut this corner off and we'll glue it right along here. We're going to stay away from this body line. You can't really see that marker, but we're going to cut it right there. Now that we have the patch cut out and it traced onto the panel, we're going to give one inch. We're going to allow, we're going to cut it in one inch all the way around there so that we have something to glue to. So we're just going to cut it right along like that. And then our glue will be in here. There's a variety of tools that you can use to trim your panels with an electric shears from Harbor Freight, a nibbler, this one's from Northern Tool, an air hammer with a bit like that, a die grinder, and even tin snips.
After trimming our panels, the glue will be right here and the patch will come up to this line. Just like that. At this point, we have the patch panel clamped and screwed in the exact spot it has to be when it's glued. I'd also like to thank Tom in Colorado for sending out and letting me try these Clico sheet metal fasteners, which fit into an eighth inch hole and pinch or hold the sheet metal together. So to take them out, use a special tool and squeeze it, and to insert them, same thing, special tool, squeeze it together, let go, and it holds the two pieces of sheet metal together. The glue is applied to both panels, and we're just going to set that up there. And I have these pieces of tape to help me align where to put the first screw. And you have plenty of time to work with this glue. It gives you a lot of time before it hardens up. The glue has tiny beads in it, so you don't have to worry about squeezing it out of the joint, and it gives you plenty of time to work. After making sure it's clamped and screwed into place, we'll let it harden overnight. You don't have to worry about the glue or the integrity of the seam after tapping it down as you can see by this test panel. For three consecutive days after gluing it in, I tapped it below the surface and it held water each time without leaks. Now using a nice sharp 36 grit fiber resin disc on slow speed, we'll prepare it for filler. And you can see we knocked the seam down because it's hitting here and here, but not where our filler is going to go.
And now we'll throw a little glue on these rivets before we install them. After the area is ground clean using a 36 grit fiber resin disc and you make sure all your high spots are knocked down, you can spread the filler. Now we'll be using 40 grit on a Bondo hog. and also 40 grit on an air file.
After feather edging the old paint and finishing our filler with 80 grit, we gave it three coats of feather fill primer surfacer, and this is a finished panel, ready to be block sanded, primed again, finished sanded, and painted. If you're concerned with the integrity of the patch panel seams and the longevity of the repair, this may be the best way to go. I hope you enjoyed this video on installing patch panels with SEM impact resistant adhesive. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.